Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here with Doug Upstone. We are DocSports.com. Final week of preseason football this weekend. It is the Raiders at the Niners. It's no longer a Bay Area series Upstone. It's the Sin City Raiders against the San Francisco 49ers. San Fran laying three and a half, which is up from that original opener of one and a half, which is where it was in a couple of books. Uh, totals 35 and a half, Raiders 2-0. Uh, it's been Nathan Peterman and basically nobody else uh, to quarterback the Raiders thus far. And here's the thing. The Raiders have played nobody the first two games. And I mean, I don't mean their opponents as nobodies. I'm talking about significant players. They sat 17 starters for game one. They sat 18 starters in game two. And John Gruden has yet to say what he's going to do, at least for this week, at the time of this recording. Yet his counterpart, Kyle Shanahan, said San Francisco starters will start and see significant action. Your thoughts on this one, Doug? Yeah, I mean, that's the, the, well, there's a couple things there. First of all, it was refreshing to hear a coach come out. Uh, this was like, uh, what, five or more years ago when they used to do this on a regular basis? Just tell you what's going to happen, okay? So that was good. I, I like that Shanahan did that and uh, yeah. s sets the right tone, I think. Uh, I don't know what Gruden is trying to hold out for in this case. Um, I think, you know, one of the things, too, I think that's changed a little bit, Scott, and it's made, I think, uh, preseason a little more difficult, is week the week two thing, two, three thing has turned out about like we thought. Some of them are, went week two, some are going week three in terms of what they want to do, and some of them, based on last year with no preseason, they're just going to save their guys, okay? That could very well be what Gruden does. I'm not saying he's going to sit 17 or 18 players, okay, but that could happen. I could see that happening, you know, because it really didn't seem to impact much last year as the, as the season, even in week one, tackling was pretty crisp, as I recall. And so maybe that's just going to be the case. However, here, though, you know, the only thing that I've learned in looking at the Raiders is the fact that they might actually have some depth this year. OK, that has been a problem with them. That has uh, been a, it, it, in terms of their collapses the last two seasons at the end of the season. I think that's been a big factor in that, along with a difficult schedule. And so if they have developed more depth, that will only help this team. OK, now what, I, you're living there. You tell me you think I'm right or am I wrong or what do you think? Well, the, the receiving core is going to be fantastic you know, almost second to none, almost. It's going to be one of the top units in all of the NFL, at least it should be, as far as the talent that they've got at the wide receiver position. We'll see if the offensive line can hold up when, you know, Derek Carr needs to make the right reads and the right passes, or if Mariota gets a little play in time during the course of the regular season. I, for one, don't think that the depth has looked anything special in preseason. They beat the Rams last week 17-16, but the Raiders were out gained by more than 100 yards in that contest. So, you know, my thought on this particular game, if we get the Niners starters for most or all of the first half, and it becomes a battle of the second stringers and beyond in the second half, I tend to trust Trey Lance and the 49er backups. I mean, listen, if this is the Nathan Peterman show again for the Raiders again, especially over the final two quarters, let's remember against backups, he had a one touchdown pass and three interceptions and he did that with over like 65 pass attempts. So he's had a ton of attempts, yet he's got a three to one interception to touchdown ratio right now against backup defenders. So for me, if it does become a situation where San Francisco plays those starters, big chunk of the first half, like Shanahan says he will, and it becomes a battle of depth in the second half, I, I got to give the lean to San Francisco minus the points, Doug. Yeah, you know, I, I would I would agree with you on, on that point. Uh, the the offensive and defensive lines so far uh, for San Francisco have been much more reminiscent of what we saw not last year but the year prior when they went to the Super Bowl, dominating. Okay, and, and so we've seen that they're they've rushed the ball for 4.9 yards per carry. They're only giving up 2.9 yards per carry, and again, that's all with backup players, not the first teamers. Sure. So let's just say the the, the physicalness of, of San Francisco that Kyle Shanahan likes to use. Okay, it looks like it's back. You know, we'll see if it stays healthy or not. The other thing, you know, defensive line uh, last week five sacks. So you know, so we definitely can see some things going forward here. Uh, you mentioned one thing that, and this that I found this one, I, and I liked it a lot. Uh, the the problem for the Raiders, uh, 
outgained by 100 yards? Well, when the Raiders are outgained in the preseason by 100 yards, in their next game, they are 1-9 and nine against the spread, losing by 9.6 points per game. So I'm not crazy about paying the hook, even though it is only the preseason, you know, and you should be betting lower limits anyways. But the three and a half, Scott, I don't I can't see any other way to play this game other than that is to give the points with San Francisco. Yeah, I'm, I'm the same way. We're going to agree here. I, I know people love to hear us go at it. And, you know, when I throw things at you and you throw things back uh, between our, our two wonderful cities that we live in. But the bottom line is, is that, you know, you handicap this. We've both been doing it for a long time and it says San Francisco or pass, you know, for both of us. So that's exactly what uh, we we both believe is that this is going to be a Niners win cover or it's going to be a, a situation where we just pass the game. So, again, I, I feel pretty confident in seeing San Francisco minus the points this week. And that, again, at the time of the shooting this video, we know San Francisco is going to play their starters for a significant chunk of this game. And Oakland has Oakland. I did it. Dang it. But I did it. Las Vegas has yet to announce, you know, how far their starters are going to play if anybody does besides Peterman, a quarterback for that uh, matter. So he's Doug. I'm Scott. We both had tremendous runs to wrap up last football season. We both done well in College of Pro Football at Docs and before. And uh, we're going to both look to continue the streaks we were on down the stretch last year. Uh, you can find, of course, all of our plays Thursday and later throughout the course of the weekend over at DocSports.com and football. Hey, don't forget about baseball, man. Baseball's still going. we got the stretch run coming up playoffs, World Series, and uh, and again, NASCAR, which has been terrific. It's going this weekend. Don't miss out on that stuff. It all makes money. And guess what I found out, Doug? When I go to the window to collect a winning bet, I don't care if it's tiddlywinks, NASCAR, NFL, college football. It's all It, it all looks exactly the same. The $100 bills have Ben Franklin on them. You know I mean? What are you going to do? So don't forget all the different sports you can wager on when guys are having success. Find the plays at DocSports.com. Check out the free $60 account. Click on that link below the video. Get yourself set up for that free 60 if you're not yet a member. He's Doug Upstone. I'm Scott Spritzer. We are DocSports.com.